If you are interested in new construction in Nevada County, California for under $600,000, then this video is just for you. I'm here at Berryman Ranch, a new community development with 30 homes. There are only five homes left to purchase here, and I'm gonna take you inside two of them so you can see the floor plans and what they look like on the inside. Um, the ones that are left for sale are about around 580. They vary slightly depending on the lot size, but all the square footage is the same. And yeah, I'm excited to show you inside. This this is a great location because we are five minutes to downtown Grass Valley, maybe 10 minutes to downtown Nevada City, and then in the other direction we are 25 minutes to Auburn and one hour to Sacramento, so very centrally located. If you love to ski, we are only an hour and 45 minutes to Tahoe City and an about two and a half hours to South Shore. Uh, Lake Tahoe. And we are only two minutes from the new Target, which isn't open yet, but it will be opening soon. So I just wanted to point out, because generally speaking, when you have new construction, you don't have mature trees. That's kind of one of the downsides of new construction is you don't have those nice mature trees, but they have put in some trees. This tree behind me, I would say that's a good 12 or 13 feet tall. So it's really nice that they did a little bit of landscaping. The backyard isn't landscaped at all, but um, you could definitely plant that out as beautiful as you would like. And yeah, let's go inside and check it out. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in Nevada County, California and the surrounding areas like Grass Valley, subscribe, tap the bell for notifications so you can stay current on the market here. You can leave a question or a comment down below and I will respond. My name is Cheyenne and whether you're moving in three weeks or three months, my partner and I would love to help you. All of our info to call, text, email or even schedule a Zoom is down below. Okay, let's go inside and check it out. So these are all three bedroom, two bath. Um, before I show you the kitchen, right when you walk into the left here is one of the bedrooms. Lots of windows, lots of natural light here. Um, I don't know if you can see the fence outside this window there. I think they're six feet tall, so they're nice and tall for privacy. And then right when you come in, it opens up to this beautiful kitchen, open floor, open concept floor plan. This is all natural light, what you're seeing here. I don't have any lights on in here. Um, it's just lots of windows, which makes a beautiful atmosphere. There's also nine foot ceilings, uh, undermount kitchen sink, lots of cabinet space. So uh, beautiful gas stove here. Um, so let's go see the, uh, the second bedroom and then we'll see the master bedroom and then I'll take you outside the backyard. Oh, and the garage is right down here too. So this bathroom actually doesn't have a window, but it does have a fan and lights. So hi. And this is the next bedroom. Again, the fencing is really tall, so you have lots of privacy. Um, big closets. And let's check out the garage here. And there is another closet right here. Oh. So this light automatically turns off because I had turned it off earlier to prepare for this and it was, it was shut off. So that's kind of nice. If you forget to turn it off, it turns off for you. So this is the garage. Just nice, everything's super clean in this. Oh, almost thought I was locked out for a second. This is where the washer and dryer goes. And there is cabinets in here as well. I love uh, at the kitchen where you could put bar stools here. You could actually maybe fit four, definitely three, maybe four. It's a really big island. Okay, so let's go see the master bedroom. Again, more natural light. It's so bright in here. I don't have any lights on. I love the light in this home. And uh, the tall um, fencing out the windows is great. The backyard is out this um, master bedroom. There is a walk-in closet here. Let's turn the light on. So full walk-in closet. And the bathroom is in here. Again, beautiful double undermount kitchen sinks. Kitchen sinks. <laughs> so there are double undermount sinks, which is lovely. Shower on this side, toilet area on this side, and there's a door there, so you can keep that uh, closed or separate if you'd like. And yeah, let's go check out the living room and the backyard and see some more of the house. This just has a really nice light and bright open floor plan. Um, there is a builder's warranty. 
There's a tankless water heater, it's plumbed for solar, and it's two by six construction. Let's go just check out the backyard. Um, I love this big window here. It just creates so much light. And again, the yard is um, not landscaped yet, but this is, you know, like a, a palette for painting. You can create it however you'd like. I like that it's not totally flat. There's a little hillside there. And so this could be really beautiful. I live on 10 acres, so gardening is kind of an epic thing. So when I see yards like this that are big enough to make absolutely beautiful, but small enough to be manageable, uh, it's exciting. So this is a great yard. Um, I see, I have the vision here to see what it could look like. And there's a side yard here, so you could put some shrubs and, and things there as well. And then there's another side yard on the other side. And then I just wanted to point out, so, you can see the roof line of some of the other homes, but there's a lot of privacy here. And then this, I wanna just show you how tall this is. This retaining wall, I'm just a little over five feet. This retaining wall is taller than me. And then you have the fencing above it. So lots and lots of privacy here. And so um, let's go check out the other home, which is fairly sim similar to this, but slightly different colors. So let's go check it out. This neighborhood has a really nice feel to it. I love how they put in some landscaping and created privacy. Again, this very tall tree here that they planted um, in the front yard, which is great because that will um, grow much quicker than, you know, like a five foot tree. And then also, there are mature trees right around this neighborhood. So you can see behind me, there's lots of mature trees over there, beautiful trees. There's trees in between um, the homes you can see. And all around, you just see beautiful tall trees. So it really is a lovely atmosphere. So let's go check out the second home. And the main difference, these really are the same exact floor plan. The main difference is the kitchen. This kitchen is white. So yeah, it depends what kind of color theme you like, but this is just beautiful as well. So yeah, the rest of the house is the same, but I just wanted to show you, oh, the backyard, we can see how that's different. So this one, it does go on the down slope here. So um, the fence is lower, but out the window, you can actually see some of those tall trees behind that other house. So that's actually really nice also. I love the detail of the windowsill. They have these beautiful ledges on all the windows throughout the home. So I think that's a really nice detail. And this backyard is a little bit smaller than the other one. So again, out here, the fence is lower, but you have these amazing trees just right across the street. So it's, you know, just depends kind of what you're looking for. And then the fence is very high on this side. So this is not a flat um, community, which I think is actually really nice because you have um, a sloping topography, which makes for more beauty, I think. So I'm gonna go take some driving footage of the neighborhood, so just so you can see what the neighborhood is like. And I enjoyed showing you around. If you'd like to see this home in person, all my contact info is below. And until then, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.